Hey guys, what's happening? I'm gonna show you today how to evaluate limits algebraically um, using a couple methods, okay? Um, the first thing that you should always do when you see a limit is substitute, so that's the first method we're gonna talk about. Um, and then if that doesn't work, if you get something that's uh, undefined, um, then we're gonna go to these other options. Maybe it's something you can simplify and then substitute. Maybe it's something you can factor and substitute. Maybe you can rationalize a numerator. I know you guys have rationalized denominators in the past. Um, today we're gonna rationalize numerators and then substitute. Or maybe it's just something special that we have to look at graphically and then, and then kind of memorize it, almost like you did with your trig identities. Um, so, all right guys, the first one we gonna do um, looks like this and the first thing you always want to do is try to substitute so I've got three I'm gonna try to substitute okay I substituted to see if it works Let's see if I can just evaluate this limit and when I do that I get three times four 4 minus 2 plus 2. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be something that's undefined. It's going to be some kind of number. 12 minus 2 plus 2 equals uh, 12. So this limit uh, is equal to 12, and it wasn't too bad. All we had to do was substitute. Chances are you won't see any of those on the AP test. Um, so let's go to the next one and see what that one looks like. This looks pretty familiar, um, something about the format of this. But anyway, uh, so let's try this one. Uh, if I just substitute, remember that's always the first thing you want to do. I've got 4 plus 0 squared minus 16 over 0, substituting a 0 for h. And I get, what is that, 16 minus 16 over 0. That's a big fat zero over zero. So it was something that was undefined, right? Substituting wasn't good enough in that case. So the first thing I can try is to simplify this. I can, uh, I can do the math. I can get rid of the, the parentheses. I can multiply all that out. So let's try it. Um, let's use a different color. How about red? All right, so I'm going to multiply this out right here, huh? and I've got the limit is h approaches 0. When I multiply that out, I can think about my uh, shortcuts for, for squaring a binomial, and I know it's going to be the a term squared plus 2 times a times b, so that would be 8h plus the b term squared. Alrighty, so let's see if I can keep simplifying. I see a 16 and a minus 16. And I've got 8h plus h squared over h. Well, uh, I see that everything has an h, so maybe I can uh, factor that h out on top. Oops. That looks good. And uh, I know that those suckers will cancel out, leaving me with the limit as h approaches 0 of 8 plus h. Now that I've simplified it, I should be able to substitute. And now I do, I, I do get something that's defined. 8 plus 0 is just 8. Nice. So I found that my limit was equal to h by sub, uh, simplifying, then substituting. On this next one, um, something should kind of jump out at you. Hey, I can factor that numerator. Hopefully, that's what you're thinking, because if you are, you're right. But anyways, uh, I guess I said that you're supposed to try substituting first. So if I were to substitute, that would be a 2 squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2. Oh no, it's 4 minus 4 over 2 minus 2. It's 0 over 0. 
So just substituting doesn't work. You do need to factor it out. So if I factor the top, oops, X got kind of funky. Factor the numerator and you get X plus two and X minus two. It's a difference of squares. No big deal over X minus two. So kind of like we simplified on the last one, I can simplify this by canceling out these X minus twos. So it's really just the limit, as X approaches two, of X plus two. Nice, and now that I've done that, I've simplified it, and I can see if uh, I can substitute now. Let's plug the two in there. All right, plug in a two in, that's two plus two, boo! No big deal, all right. So we got two tool, uh, tools in our tool belt there. We can simplify, we can factor. And the last one I'm gonna show you is uh, sometimes you got a radical in the numerator. All right, well, we can deal with that. Um, and the way I can simplify this guy is by multi multiplying by the conjugate. Now, in pre-calc, I know you guys rationalized denominators. That was cool. But in calculus, we're going to have to uh, occasionally rationalize a numerator to help us simplify. So, the way to do that is to multiply by the conjugate. The conjugate of this would be square root of x. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. So uh, the conjugate square root of x plus three. Make sure you do it on the numerator and on the denominator. So what I really have is the limit. If you kiss, if you do a good job, okay. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. And I can... A chocolate pretzel, too. Okay, thank you. Say hi to all the kids. Say hi, kids. Hi, kids. All right, now we got to be real quiet, okay, so we can finish this. All righty, so uh, i got some little people that want me to be done. So let's, um, let's simplify this numerator by multiplying. So, and if you notice, that's kind of a difference of squares there. So it's kind of quick to multiply out. Square root of x times the square root of x. I'm foiling. Uh, gives me square root of x times square root of x is x. Uh, and if you notice, check out what happens here. Um, first, outers, so that's plus 3 square root of x. Then the inners, minus 3 square root of x. And then the last, negative 3, positive 3, negative 9. So if you notice, then uh, those two middle terms canceled out nicely. And down here in the denominator... Do not simplify it. Leave it as x minus 9 times this conjugate down here, square root of x plus 3. Leave it like that. Because if you leave it like that, something beautiful is going to happen. So... Because we left the bottom unsimplified, I see that this x minus 9 that I had in the numerator is going to cancel out with the x minus 9 in the denominator. It's okay, baby. We're almost done. My, 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 my sister's not sharing with me. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to her in a little bit. We're almost done, baby. All right, so um, you notice those cancel out. So really, I just have a 1 in the numerator and a square root of x plus 3 in the denominator. So um, that doesn't look that bad. Now, now I, can try to, uh, I can try to substitute again. All right, let me rewrite this so it looks better. Limit as x approaches 9 of 1 over square root of x plus 3. And we're trying to uh, substitute again to see if it works. So, square root of 9 -er plus 3. Square root of 9 is totally 3. So my final answer is a 1 over 6. Cool. It worked. Yay. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and do one more. All right, let's do one more because um, there's a... 
a cute little distraction on the last one. So let's say that I have got the limit um, and the function shall be square root of x minus 4 over x minus 16. And let's say that x is approaching 16. If I just uh, substitute it, it would totally give me a 0 over 0. So, and I see the radical up here, so I'm thinking, hey, let's multiply by the conjugate. And that conjugate is going to be square root of x plus 4. Got to do it to the numerator and the denominator, otherwise it's not fair. All right, so what happens is, um, let's multiply this out like we did the previous one. So we're foiling, but if you notice, this is a um, kind of a difference of squares thing going on up top. So square root of x times the square root of x is x. And then the outer and inner terms are going to cancel out, so I can just skip straight to that last term where I have negative 4 times a positive 4, negative 16. Now remember, do not simplify the denominator. Because if we don't simplify it, then you get to see something beautiful happen. Those suckers cancel out. Now I still have a, a 1 on top uh, in the numerator. And now I can try substituting again. I can say the limit as x approaches 16 of 1 over... Um, actually, I said I was going to substitute. Let's plug that 16 in, right? So plugging the 16 in for x looks something like that, which looks something like this which gives me an answer like that. Alrighty, um, I hope you learned something. See ya.